Texas mom and dad sharing their son's terrifying ordeal at a pet adoption event. They're hoping that no one else gets hurt as a result. They were at Clyde Warren Park with their two year old when one of those dogs up for adoption went on the attack. New for you here at 10 o'clock, Ken Wallacina, live in West Dallas. Yeah, well, you know, tonight that dog in question, it is locked up in quarantine here at the Dallas Animal Services. The family says they're just thankful their boy's injuries weren't any worse. We're going to show them to you, but we also want to warn you that some of these images might be hard to look at. Give me a kiss. Two-year-old Luca is slowly getting back to being his old playful self after surviving what his parents describe as a horrifying dog attack. The dog lunged out and bit him in the right arm and chest pulled him to the ground and was like flailing him around and four or five guys had to come in and literally pry the teeth off of him. The boy's mother says it all happened this past Saturday at a rescue adoption event in Dallas's Clyde Warren Park. Dallas Pets Alive, the volunteer organization that put the event on, confirms the dog in question is this brown pit bull mix named Rusty. He gave no warning signs and he just kind of just jumped out at him. Yeah. The puncture wounds and the stitches on the little yeah. boy are still well, fresh and so are the memories of what this family had to endure. Size. Dallas Animal Services is now evaluating the dog and placed it in quarantine. But these parents we think it needs I, to be put down. I think it needs to be put down. Are convinced Rusty needs to be euthanized. We just don't want anybody else to get hurt. Our kid got mauled and if it wasn't for those guys he possibly wouldn't be here. I never got the I never got the names of the guys that helped out, but uh, wherever you are, thank you. And in a statement tonight, Dallas Pets Alive, uh, they said, quote, we are aware of the incident and have been working closely with authorities and family involved so that we can gain a full understanding of what took place. Rusty will remain here for about another five days or so until the end of that quarantine period is over. At that point, we're being told uh, that an animal expert will make a final recommendation as to what is next for the dog. We're live in Dallas tonight. Ken Molestina, CBS 11 News. Okay.